Okay, what I want to do today is I want to go over something that a lot of people seem to be forgetting. And I'll tell you exactly what it is. Think in terms of contribution to society. For example, in a company, everybody tends to contribute to the company, except for the people at the very top who don't really contribute a whole lot if you think about it. It's kind of like the king. The king says, well, I am absolutely necessary because if it wasn't for me, everything would fall apart. Except here we have in the U.S. a country without a king, without a castle, and guess what? Everything seems to work just fine with no king or queen. So I am maintaining the belief that things would work just fine without the people at the top of the company. That's basically what I'm saying. And if you think about it, you know, because I've gone to a lot of meetings, and what does an executive say? They always say, oh, got to make cuts, got to outsource, got to downsize. You know, well, exactly who are they cutting? Are they getting rid of people who don't do any work? I haven't seen that to be the case. I see that they get rid of a lot of people who are making near minimum wage. A lot of these people work really hard. And when they get rid of these people, they're always saying, no, I have to make more cuts and downsize. I have to outsource. And I'm like, you know, they're getting rid of people that make almost no money, replacing them with people from overseas that make even less money so that they can make more money. I mean, think about it. It's kind of like, it's not fair. It's kind of like, I get all the pizza and now I'm complaining that I also want to eat the crumbs. I'm like, you know, I don't think a lot of people complain if you take two slices of pizza and you give everybody just one slice because they figure, well, you were the one who made the pizza. But these people did not create these companies. The only thing they can do is string outsource and downsize. I mean, anybody can do that. It's like a king. All he has to do is sit in the big chair. I mean, they don't do anything that's positive or beneficial to anyone. In fact, I remember one company, the company was actually making record profits when they brought this executive in. The only thing he could do was outsource and downsize. Later on, the company went under. It wasn't making record profits anymore. And they asked the executive, and he said that the problem was that he hadn't fired enough people. He needed to, to downsize more. And I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> downsize more? There's nobody working at that company anymore. The company went under. Oh, no, but if I had fired more people, the company would have been able to survive. Well, that's kind of like a drunk, and you say, hey, buddy, maybe you should quit hitting the bottle so much and you wouldn't have so many accidents in your car. And he goes, no, 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 you're wrong. The problem is that I should drink more because that relaxes me. Then I wouldn't have as many accidents in my car. I mean, I don't think so. I really don't think so. But, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe he's right and I'm wrong, you know. But, I mean, I've seen this pattern over and over again. You know, I would go into a meeting be a very important meeting or everybody has to attend this meeting is very important the only thing the executives would be talking about would be a basketball game or a football game or even a soccer game but they certainly wouldn't talk about the company or changes that we needed to make or how we could make improve customer service which by the way they just laugh when you say the word customer service they don't think that's important but let me tell you customer service is important because if you don't have customers pretty soon you don't have a company and they find that out and quick. But they don't care because they've been making gigantic amounts of money. I mean, in one year they'll make enough money that they could live for the rest of their life without working again. Not that they would know what work is because they've never worked a day in their life. You know, these executives, the only thing they can do is outsource and downsize and fire someone. I mean, they have no idea what work is. I can assure you when, when they were little kids, they had a maid cleaning their room. The one thing they did not have was, you know, to mow the lawn and do stuff that like regular people. No, they didn't do any of those things. They were constantly firing someone, downsizing now. But when they were kids, someone else was cleaning their room. So they have no idea the amount of work that goes into anything. The only thing they can do is outsource and fire someone.